Is Gen Z too much for Gen Z to handle? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Rhett, are we cool? Of course we're cool. I mean, why would you get an idea that we're not cool? Well, because all of the crew members under 26 years old uh, lined up in the parking lot, and as I drove in this morning, they confronted me to tell me that we weren't cool. Well, that, that's a substantial amount of our crew members. Everyone, everyone under 26? Yeah. They were well, all out there. Well, there's only one thing left to do. We gotta prove them wrong. Yeah, yeah. And you mean by that, that we should uh, force four of them to answer questions about their pop culture yep. and see if we can also guess those answers yep. to show them how cool we are too. Yeah, we're cool. Yeah. It's time for, on a scale of Gen Z to like Gen Z, how Gen Z are you? Part two. Over there, we've got our Zoomer Zone oh. featuring our panel of Gen Z mythical crew members, including Trevor, KG, Mindy and Chappie. Yes, and, but, uh, yes, but, but wait. Hmm? Uh, I'm told that we have a last minute addition to our Zoomer Zone panel. <laughs> Yo, Hello, oh fellow God. kids. I'm Chaz. <laughs> Chaz. That's Chaz. <laughs> Chaz. It's Chaz. <laughs> I'm the older Gen Z. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well we gotta update our, our boards here, Link. What's up, Chaz? We're gonna find out in just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Chaz yeah. doesn't seem to know. Yeah, we... Uh, well, how, how old are you, Chaz? I'm younger than 26 and I know all the answers to these questions. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right, Stevie, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> okay, Slime, please take a look at the If You Know You Know board of Gen Z Trivia. Slime? <laughs> oh, my slime. No. You'll each take turns choosing spots from the board, and once each question has been revealed, you'll mean? use your whiteboards to guess which members of the Zoomer Zone will answer correctly, if any. You'll earn points for every panelist you guess correctly, and you'll lose points for incorrect guesses. But Rhett and Link, you too will be answering the questions. In your case, correct answers will only earn you half of what the question's worth. If you don't know the answer, you won't lose any points. And this time around, to give our Gen Z panel an extra challenge, we have some secret Gen X questions hidden on the board. Oh. Oh. We're calling them Gen Extra. Okay. These okay. questions will be worth double the points, and you'll lose double the points if you make an incorrect guess. The loser at the end of the game will have to post a photo on Insta with the caption, I'm a simp for Gen Z. Oh. Okay. And uh, before we begin, let's reveal the categories on the Gen Z trivia board. We have Who Am I? We'll show you an image and you'll need to identify the person pictured. Behind the Bops, music related trivia. Big screen, little screen, film and TV related trivia. Okay. And our new category, Gen Z Shinary, Gen Z and social media slang. Mm. And Link, since you lost oh. last time, you get to pick our first question. Um, hmm, okay. I'm gonna start with the one that's hardest to say. Gen Zictionary, Zictionary for 100. What does oomph mean? Oomph. What does that mean and who knows it? Everybody was quick to pick up their whiteboards over there. Oomph. Uh, who do we think knows this? Okay. I think I'm good. All right, let me know who you thought on the panel was going to answer this correctly. I went with Trevor and Chappie. Something about those glasses gives me oomph. Okay. Um, I thought that Trevor, KG, Mindy, and Chappie knew what this was. I uh, And I think Chad maybe doesn't. Chaz. Chaz, sorry. You, you thought everyone except Chaz? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gen Z panel, starting with Trevor, let's see how you did. 
one of my followers or one of my friends, I believe. Oh. I said, you say it when you have messed up or you're feeling tired. <laughs> okay, not the same answer at all. I thought it meant a little something extra. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a little, a little oomph. Yeah, I like that. Little, I'm with Mindy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Right, right, right. And I said you got hit really hard in the chest. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you guys all seem so confident. Okay, Chaz, what about you? And I put, it's making noise when you fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 right, okay. Mate, besides yeah. the fart itself? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a noise. Like a grunt? It's a noise you make from your mouth. <laughs> a, does, you it per, does it proceed? Never mind. I don't even want to know. Okay, wow. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't think I did too well. But I did, like Trevor, figure that this was an acron acronym, but I said it was out of most fudge. <laughs> you still, so you still have a little yeah, fudge? Yeah, yeah. It's when you, it's, and it's a vacation. You only use it on vacation. <laughs> they put the sign up. Mm. No, you, you tell your family. Warning family, we're out of most fudge. Um, I just thought it was a big mistake. Like a oof is a mistake, but a oomph is a bigger mistake. Yeah. Kind of like I mean, Mindy. To be fair, uh, the Gen Z people that I spoke to have never said this out loud. So it could be O-O-M-F uh, and not oomph, but I went with oomph. Okay. Um, so it means... One of my followers, Trevor. So Trevor got it correct. Woo! So I I canceled out, but you are hurting, hurting pretty bad. And neither one of us get any extra points because we didn't know either. Man, only one out of five of the Zoomer Zone knew that one. Yeah, I gotta I gotta read that Zoomer Zone better next time. That is disappointing. Okay, Rhett, it's your pick next. Um, uh, let's go. Uh. Big screen, little screen for 200. Oh, yeah. How do you pronounce her name? <laughs> How do you pronounce her name? How do you, so you have to write the pronunciation. How do you write the pronunciation of her name in a way? Okay. And who do we have here? Okay, I've got it. All right. You have it? Yes. I said that uh, Trevor, KG, Mindy, and Chappie would pronounce this correctly. What about Chaz? And that uh, Chaz would not. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I said that Trevor, KG, Mindy, and Chappie would all get this, and Chaz would not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How you feel about that, Chaz? That'd probably be a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Trevor, kick us off. Uh, Zendaya. 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 Put a little hat over there. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Zendaya, like opposite of night. Okay. And I just put sexy girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. All right. All right. Point for Chaz. <laughs> 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 she probably responds to that. <laughs> Even when she's wearing a pillow sack. What yeah. is that? Uh, I don't think she can look bad. Um, and yes, uh, I also said Zendaya. I also said Zendaya. So there we go. Look at that. It was uh, six out of seven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Wow. You all got that correct. Of course, the incorrect answer would have been Zendaya and not Zendaya. But you did it. Link, it's back to you. You know what? I'm going to keep the pattern going. I'm going to go with Behind the Bops for 300. Ooh, nice. What K-pop group just headlined Coachella in 2023? Why is Mindy? Mindy, you can't cover your face. What? Don't cover your face. Okay. Oh, that's the face you were making. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Headlined Coachella. Man. Hmm. Is there anybody? Mm. Okay, are you locked in? Yep, I am. I thought everybody would also get this one right, except for Chaz. Okay, well, I changed it up a little bit. I thought everyone would get it except for Chaz, and I sensed some hesitation on Mindy's part. Oh, Mindy! 
Did not like that shade. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going with the way you look. Headlining not... Coachella seems like something they should all know. Right. So yeah. I'm feeling for Mi- uh, Mindy. I have I have faith in you. Prove me wrong, Mindy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trevor, go ahead. I guess Stray Kids. Guest. I, I guess Black Pink. I also guessed Black Pink. Oh, dang! Sorry, Mindy. guest. A lot of guessing. I guessed BTS, the one K-pop group I know. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, and I knew it had to be the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I knew it. You, yeah, he's, I love the confidence. <laughs> well, there's an egg on our face, Chaz. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, my guess, well, I don't know a lot of K-pop bands, but my, my favorite is ASDF JKL Sim. <laughs> I don't, I don't get that. It's a typewriter joke. Yeah. Um, it's the honkies. I, I guessed Black Pink. It's just a bunch of guesses happening here. Well, Black Pink must be it. The answer is Black Pink. Oh yeah. There we go. So, um, Mindy, I felt good. Trevor, I'm disappointed in you. You don't know who headlines Coachella? No. no. Why would you think? <laughs> what about me gives off Coachella? Well, no, that's a bad question. <laughs> Trevor. This is a dumb question. Maybe it's the crystal hanging from your left ear. <laughs> you should know that I don't go outside. Yeah, right. I, like I did not know that. And Chappie, I'll let you off the hook. I don't know. Rhett's back to you. Okay. You did good on that one. Uh, let's just keep going down the board. Who am I for 400? Oh. Who is this? I'm trying to figure out what the scene is here. Like, there's lightning. Not getting any new clues here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying. It's a, it's a scary looking house. Um, okay. All right. You locked in? Yep. Who do you think knew this? KG and Mindy. KG and Mindy. I thought that KG was the only one who knew this. Something about this scene was kind of spooky to me. KG has an entire wardrobe of spooky shirts. <laughs> spooky shirts. Nobody else knew this. Okay, let's find out. Trevor? Uh, I said his girl in front of house featuring young lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> young, I can't wait to see what that lightning bolt does with its life. I said ghost hunter girl. No, KG! <laughs> hey, you don't know. <laughs> My answer is a brave girl because that place looks scary. <laughs> uh, Chappie, do you know? I said haunted house friend. Nobody! <laughs> Maybe Chaz is our only hope. Midnight Queen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's like the best guess. <laughs> Midnight Queen, that's... Chaz, who is Midnight Queen? <laughs> I don't have no idea, but I had an old house like that, so I mean, I knew it had to be at midnight when it was happening. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I was wrong about who was gonna write, and I just, all I could come up with was girl. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to come up with a descriptor, but, you know. Well, it seems like I was the only one with guts enough to give an actual name. I think this is Jan. <laughs> <laughs> Jan who? Just known as Jane. You know, the Midnight Queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, we're all hurt. Who on is this, this Stevie? Oh, man, this, this is singer, songwriter, and producer Pink Pantheris. Oh, man. How, you're supposed to know these things, man. I, I thought, I thought, Link, you were going to turn around your board and have the answer, but no, it, it was Jan. <laughs> I knew I'd seen her somewhere. Pink Pantheris? Pink Pantheris. Pink Pantheris. Okay, Link, it's back to you. All right. I'm going to go with big screen, little screen for 300. Ooh. And before you reveal the question, let's talk about this long sleeve tee that you got going on here, Oh, Rhett. you mean my ribbit tee featuring frog versions of us doing a willet under a, oh, under a leaf? Oh, ribbit, question mark. With a little dandelion and two sleeve hits of the various things that frogs love. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Mythical.com. It's comfy. Check out our store. Huh. Link, (laughs) for your last spot, you have chosen a Gen 
extra spark, yes! which as a reminder is worth double the points. Maybe I have a chance. What TV show are these characters from? Yes. I'm watching them. Come on. Okay. Huh. Okay. Who did you think got oh, it? I didn't think any of them got it. Not even Chaz? I thought that Chappie got it, and I also thought that Chaz got it. Come on, Chaz. You can come through. Okay, Trevor, start us off. Brady Bunch. Oh! <laughs> what? Uh, do one Fortnite dance. <laughs> Any of you, do one Fortnite dance. Trevor, Trevor, oh, what's, the, what's, what's the premise of the Brady Bunch? Okay, so hear me out. I thought that maybe they just took, like, you just showed some of the characters. <laughs> and it wasn't the whole family. Just some of them. Uh, I just said big happy family. Mm. Boring. Okay, relax. My answer was the girl club. <laughs> Dang, this is... Come on, Chappie. I believed in you. Five good friends. No! <laughs> At least yes! I guess. No! no! <laughs> Chaz. Come on, Chaz. I thought it was Maud. The name of the lady. I can't yep. remember the name of the show. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because she was in another show. Yeah. She was in another show called Maud. Yep, yep, yep. Dang yep. it, you were right. I was right, nobody got it right, and I believe it is the facts of life. You take the good, you take the bad. Take them both, and there you have the facts of life, guys. Yes. Come on. The, hey. Come on, Chaz. Do you, have you ever seen the facts of life, Chaz? No. <laughs> okay, well, Seriously? it was on television How at some point. How is that possible? During your 22 years or so, however old you are. You're both correct, of course. It's the facts of life, and Rhett, it is time for your final pick. These points are crazy. We're going all over the place. Yeah, I've taken the lead somehow. But you know what? Let's give you an opportunity to come back. Big screen, little screen for 400. Name a movie that stars Tom Holland and doesn't feature Spider-Man. Uh. <laughs> um. Do they know it? I don't know. I think they might. Oh, Mindy is now erasing a little something. Okay. Hmm. Crap. I know. I think I should know one of these. What is that? Maybe it's a trick question. Are we all locked in? Okay. All right. Who did you think? I Got thought it. that KG, Mindy, and Chappie all came up with a Tom Holland movie, but Chaz and Trevor did not. Oh, no. I disagree. I think that Trevor definitely got it. And then I think Mindy got it. And that's it. Okay. Last question, Trevor. Let's see. Uncharted. Uncharted. Ooh. Yes. I just know a show on Apple TV. I don't huh. know what it's called. It's though. okay. No, but I didn't vote for you. <laughs> so you lost that. Uh, yikes. Um, I just know he dressed up as Rihanna once. <laughs> oh, you blew it. You blew it. Sorry. Uh, I, I wrote... Devil Knows Something in the South. There was this movie, I did watch it. I don't remember what the title was, it was long. The title is long, but I didn't, I did watch it. Okay, and Chaz? And he could have been in Happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> could have been. He could have been, yeah. He could have been a, he was a baby. In, he could have been quite a little baby. Was, uh, yeah, I don't even think he could have been a baby in Happy Gilmore. <laughs> He okay, could, so I was wrong, been. but I think I, I'm pretty sure I got the answer right because I went with Zendaya the documentary. <laughs> oh, that? Uh, yeah. That's a good guess. Yeah. See, I was, I, I said Action Zone with Marky Mark Wahlberg. Um, action Zone? It, well, I was thinking Uncharted. Why'd you say Zone? Because Zone's on the brain, I don't know. I didn't want to put Action Movie. I think, I don't, I think you got what you needed to win. I don't know, let's, let's see. Let's see how this works out. I was thinking Uncharted. Fun fact, Tom Holland was born the year that Happy Gilmore came out. Oh, so he could have, see, he could have been in it. He could have been in it. His non-Spider-Man filmography includes Uncharted, mm. Onward, Spies in Disguise, The Devil All the Time, oh, that was what it was like. Cherry, and Doolittle, amongst other titles. Which means, Link, you've pulled off the win this nice. time, and Rhett, you're gonna have to mm. post that picture on Insta with the caption, I'm a simp for Gen Z. I'll do it. Zoomer Zone, thank you so much for being a part of the panel, especially you, Chaz. I gotta go do my in 
PZ live stream, so I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Spicy, spicy, spicy. I think MPZ is a, is like a new is, a, is the new Z version of <laughs> MPC live streams. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm standing here in Toronto in front of the Zoomer Hall, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Somebody's got to stand in front of it. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us rank weird stress balls and go mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Just two froggy guys snacking on flies. Grab the ribbit long sleeve tea at mythical.com.